It's an effect we can recreate right here on Earth. Using a Hollywood effects studio, dry ice, and some powerful fans. Dust devils need two things to get going. Heat from the sun and a dry, dusty terrain. Mars has both. On the surface of Mars, a hot patch of dust is able to start a vortex and it can begin to twirl. Fine iron oxide particles cover the entire surface of the planet. As the sun warms the ground, hot air pockets form across the surface. The warm air rises and spins, sucking up the dust. Once it's in the column, the iron oxide particles take energy from the sun and re-radiate it into the column. So the dust gives positive feedback to the process of bringing up more dust from the surface. The vortex spins even faster. And the faster it is, the greater its ability to lift things from the surface. With an endless supply of dust, the twisters grow and grow. Because the whole surface of Mars is covered with dust, this column can continue to feed itself and thus this kind of a dust devil process can envelop the whole planet. But in the vacuum of space, the familiar crack is impossible to hear. So spacecraft, like Cassini, listen for something else. The probe picks up the radio static when the lightning rips through Saturn's atmosphere. Each of these small crackles is a lightning bolt in a storm cloud nearly as big as the United States. For now, the only answer is to experiment in a lab. Scientists can recreate Saturn's megastorms here on Earth. They've already made a six-sided hexagon storm on a small scale. It revealed for the first time that each face of the hexagon has its own secondary storm. But now a team at Turin University in Italy wants to go bigger, much bigger. Instead of an oil drum-sized container, they're using this a spinning 2,000-gallon tank of water. Of course, a planet is made of gas, but we make sure that um, all the forces acting on this fluid in the laboratory are equivalent to the forces that act in the real atmosphere of a giant planet. Eight tons of spinning water stand in for the gas giant's atmosphere. Beneath the surface, two smaller disks recreate the center of the storm. Around their edges, turbulent currents make a chaotically rotating stream of clouds. So this tank now is our rotating planet. We are spinning on this tank as we would spin at the pole of a planet. To reveal the invisible forces within this jet stream, they use a fluorescent dye and light it with a laser. These are the swirling currents that develop on each face of Saturn's hexagon. It doesn't form a hexagon, but it shows how the vortices develop, grow, and behave. Secondary currents get ripped from the jet stream. 
Saturn's dynamic rotation spins them into a tight vortex. For scientists, this is a window on a hidden world. By doing these experiments, we understood that an instability forms and this instability produces waves and these waves create vortices.